everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And guys, if you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share. Well, 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 well guys, it's Manchester United nil, Arsenal Football Club 1. Yet another game, guys, where we have dropped points in the Premier League. We just can't get a win in the Premier League. We cannot get a win at Old Trafford again and again and again, guys. And guys, it's been the worst start we've had in the Premier League for a very long time since I've been a young boy. Since I've been a young boy. And guys, it's it's not looking good for us. To just, again, sit in the bottom half of the Premier League. It's been a while since that's happened. But yeah, if... if it, I'm not sure where we are 15th or even worse off than 15th. It's unacceptable, totally unacceptable for Manchester United, a team like Manchester United to just be in the bottom half of the table after a couple of games in the Premier League. More than five game, guys. And right now we are struggling. We are struggling, guys. It was a terrible performance in terms of the whole 90 minutes. We just couldn't get out. Arsenal was terrific. They were, they were very well good in possession, especially when pressing as well. They, they made it difficult for us. They kept us in our half for a good time. They kept us in our half for a very long time, especially in the first half. But that was unacceptable. We were poor in possession, and yet time and time again, guys, time and time again, we struggle with the ball. We, we can't create anything. And that just, again, it goes straight back to training. If nothing is happening there in the coaching field, nothing will be reflected and shown on match day yet again poor in possession giving the ball away so many times we played the diamond but it did not work for us today uh, again today Oli got it wrong Oli got it wrong and it's looking very shaky for him right now we're saying worse than the 15th guys what can we do as Manchester United fans this is us this is us but boys let's go straight into that match because that first 45 minutes the first 20 minutes, it looked even. It looked even until the last quarter of the first half. That's when Arsenal started to shine. And Arsenal were the better team. Arsenal was. And it just pains me to see the Gooners again, to go home and smile, to go into work tomorrow and see Gooner fans right in front of my face, just smiling all day. It's going to be the worst thing I can, I can endure tomorrow. But guys... Straight again in that second half was poor. Social made some changes to take Fred off and then to bring Matic on night for like where I thought nothing was gonna happen. Why did you take off Fred, Oli? Oli, Oli, Oli. Tactics today wasn't the best. He wasn't the best. Paul Labile Pogba. Oh my god. Yet again, giving away another penalty. And you're just making things worse for you. Gave away a penny. As soon as I saw the ball and he approaching it, I knew. Paul Pogba, please don't. Please don't make it a penny. My brother, he made it a penny. Whoa. Disappointing. Giving away the penalty. And Obama Young capitalizing that penalty. Scoring, making it 1-0. Then I thought for myself, we are not going to come back. Because you just can't see it, guys. You couldn't see us coming back. To lose the game 1-0 against the Gooners, it's, it hurts my soul because I know how trash and shit Arsenal is. And then we're going to have to go into work with Arsenal barking at us, smelling their breath, full of shit with their shit in, right in front of their face, talking to us all the time. We have to endure that. We have to endure that for, until the next time we play Arsenal because they're going to be calling us shit for a very long time. It, it was a poor performance from the guys. Tactically, we was we was not great. We was not great. It wasn't we wasn't the best decision to play certain players. I I still yet yeah, question why he played McTominay. At times we did not need McTominay. We did not need him today. We should have played Van der Beek. We should have played Van der Beek and kept Fred on to keep the ball better. He keeps the ball better and he would have helped us. Paul probably didn't have his best games. He did okay. Bruno Fernandes as well did not have his best game and they needed someone like Van der Beek to keep them going. My man in the match, I'm afraid I'm going to have to give it to David De Gea, the best player in the field today. In goal, he saved us a quite a couple of times. He was, he was terrific. They didn't make any mistakes. They didn't give the ball away. They didn't do anything wrong. Don't give the match today has to go to Paul Pogba with that tackle. Why did you do that, Paul Pogba? Labile, why 
did you do that? And you're going to get people just going at you on Twitter and Instagram, just, just going at you again. But again, giving away penalties at off. That's all he's contributed. That is all he's contributed this season since he's come back. Penalties after penalties. Guys, let's face it. The league is not for us this season, and it's never was got looking like it was going to be for us this season, especially for after that transfer window. But right now, where we sit right now, it's not looking good. Whether you're only in or out, it's not the point. There's no point anymore. Bordeaux are clueless. I'll be honest with you. He shouldn't be here, but yeah, he is here. They should have made a change time ago to get a coach that would implement a better structure, a better player football, and know exactly what they're doing. But yeah, I'm not here for this chat. I'm not here for this chat. We've lost. We've lost against the Gunas. It's the worst thing that we can have right now. Another defeat. Another defeat at Old Trafford. We still haven't won a game at Old Trafford. It's not looking good. Yeah, again, and I know we're going to play our Champions League game and win again and get our confidence up again. But then again, when it comes to the league again, we're just, we're, just, we're just not good. And it's time to just make some changes. Glazer's out as always and, and Woodward's out. I don't have time for Oli in or out no more because it's it's bigger than that. It is bigger than that. Manchester United fan, just keep yourself occupied for the next couple of days until we play in the Champions League, you know. Avoid Arsenal fans as much as you can because you, you're going to smell shit all day for the next couple of days. Coming out of their mouth especially. But yeah, keep strong, guys. Just keep strong. And guys... Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to follow the official Instagram page, which is Reginited One Baby. Gone past the 4K, close to 1K subscriber, guys. So remember to subscribe and follow me on my personal Instagram account, which is Ivorian underscore one. And the same thing for the for Twitter. And guys, of course, Manchester United fans is hard, hard, but keep it united as always. And remember to keep it Reg United. I'm out.